Do the H E V. Gordon, I'm busy. Okay, you're really busy sitting there. All right, today we're going to be playing Black Mesa. It is basically a Halo remaster. Uh, better graphics, better sound, better gameplay, and full online multiplayer support. I am not sponsored. This is unbiased. Okay? It's 100% my opinion. Very um, Halo vibes right now with the subway. Absolutely. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. All right. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Very nice. I actually prefer it to be about, yeah, about 70 is fine. As you can see, the graphics are greatly improved. Look at the details. A lot more crisp than the uh, older generation game was. This obviously. Is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. Okay. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Okay. Sure. We can do that. Can I please exit this vehicle? Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Fine. I feel like I want to use cannabis anyways. We're going on a, on a trip, it looks like. Look at the scenic view, look. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. So if I trust that machine right there. Following us. Trying to. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Okay. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Okay. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Good morning, buddy. Looks like you're running late. Yes, I am. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Indeed. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're loading up as it is. Cut the ponytail. Sell out. Yeah, I did cut the ponytail. Being too long, buddy. You haven't even got a ponytail. What are you talking about? Alright, so what hey, we got? Hey, Mr. Freeman. 
I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay. That is fine. What are you Gordo, doing still running around sundown. up here? We need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Gordon, Agent I'm busy. Dale. Okay, really busy sitting there. Eight. Ah, Gordon Freeman. Have you attenuated the displacement beacon signal? Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work yes, this morning. About that. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Scientist for you. I've got this under control, Gordon. Weren't you supposed to be in the, the test sample chamber was just half sent hour down ago. to the test chamber? Aha, uh -huh, yes, the test chamber. Of course. How could I forget? You're living in the past. That experiment is single handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than recognition. Morning, champ. Hello. Good morning, people. All right, let's go to this uh, test chamber. Good heavens! What the hell? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Because it... Matches your ridiculous personality, that's why. Rat. No toilet paper. First aid, okay. Right, Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Don't panic, Harold. Don't panic. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Just a minute. Occupied. Mm. Screw the guy a little bit. <laughs> Why not? Okay, here's a test chamber. Oh, that's a cool looking suit. Ooh. Welcome to the HEV Log 4 protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. I am back. Reactive armor activated. Nice. Right on through. Yeah, give me the power, man. Let's go. That's right. There's a new guy in town with a suit on. Let's figure out where to go from here, shall we? Who? We're going down, down, down. I am going down to the basement hunt. Gonna see some crazy scientists. Loading. So, 2001. Okay, so here we go. Let's talk to these Did scientists. Did you catch that last fluctuation? Let's talk to this energy, person right here. Residence control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Uh, yes, and make sure that the shifts in the signals from the eruptions curious. of the bypassing Aglonia is in alignment with the crystallized feminists. What's up, Doc? So here we go. 
If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red Calamity, I'm not interested. Go bother someone else, Gordon. I'm gonna bother everybody. Later, Gordon. I'm gonna jump on your face. My powerful suit. Hi. Hi. Hello, people. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Yes. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Ah, We've very funny. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Okay. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. I will there come to a conclusion. In the test chamber. Right. Come on then. I'll Let me walk in. you down. Oh my God! Clearances, such annoyance. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations oh. for the new experiment. Oh. oh, all right, gotcha. All right, so Greetings, what are we testing Eli? it? Ooh, morning, that Izzy. I trust that this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. What are we testing? These last-minute changes. They're a bit strange to just. Oh, it's about to go critical. Oh, sugar. Failure, huh? That's not good. Let's try and fix it, yeah? What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do well, this. This is fairly place. stable. This looks like it's going to blow. This it's looks like it's going to blow. We handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, boy. We'll be but a moment. All right, moving on. Moving on up. Moving on out. Time to break free. Nothing can stop it. By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is often. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, great. Thanks, buddy. Never met a scientist uh, that appreciates is. Uh, is appreciated. You know, they always like. I'm afraid we'll be unappreciated. deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, okay. yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This mm. is the purest sample we've seen yet. Okay. And potentially the most unstable. Now, Ooh. as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely, I just don't feel. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's That's a true. highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Mm. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. You should have confidence well, in me. Ahead. You should. Let's let him in now. Yeah, let me in. Let me through these doors, man. Come on. What's behind these massive doors? Alright. Wow, fancy dancy equipment in here, huh? What are Testing. we gonna What are we Testing. gonna test? <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. What are we testing? All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen oh, should be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. There we go. Let me just press this button. Something is going to show up. Something is going to show up very, very soon. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Wow! Wow! What's going to happen? Stage two emitters activating. Oh, now. getting close. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the Whoa, system can okay. operate at this level. Oh, or goodness. How long the reading will take. Oh, but goodness. Please work as quickly as you can. 
Oh my goodness. Overhead capacity it's gonna blow. is 105 okay. It's going to blow, man. What is going on? No way. Uh, oh, it's probably not a problem. Oh my goodness. Probably. But I'm showing Shake a small discrepancy in... Well, no. Oh. And... And that is all we have time for today, people. We will be back on tomorrow with part two. That is part one. Appreciate you guys showing up. If you're new, subscribe. Press that subscribe button. It's free to do. It takes you a second. Turn notifications to all so you can find out when my video gets notif gets put up and you can easily find it. Okay? Uh, please like this video as well to help me out. And I'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow for part two.